Hi everyone, it's Wendy back again to show you how I add lace and um, just a few finishing touches to the interior. We will do the cover um, in a follow-up video. This way we can handle everything all in one. Uh, and I'm not going to add lace to every page in this video, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how I go about doing it. So let me just show you very quickly where I am with the journal. Um, I put a little tuck spot on the inside of this page uh, just because I want it to um, I want to have a tuck spot there. No, Leo, off you go. And what I'm going to do, Lee, off you go. Uh, I'm going to be putting a um, doorknob on the Tim Holtz doorknobs there. So it will come into this a bit, but I, so I haven't decorated this yet. I'm going to wait and do that later. Uh, and then here's one of the bags that we made. Uh, and here's the CD case that we made as well. And then here's one of the journals. And I put a little clip at the top. Um, just one second, I'm going to move him. Come on now, off you go. Off you go. Okay. And then here's one of the interior pages, and I put a little postcard uh, that's on cardstock from Tracy. And then this is one of my, I think we did this side, or both, maybe both sides together. I can't remember. There's a tuck spot here, and this is the envelope. Um, uh, with the window and then here's the bag and I really love this this is the bottom of a tag and then I've just got a tag in here here's a full tag and then I've got a little um, clip there here's another one of my uh, this is the one we made together uh, one of the uh, divider pages and then here is another this is the pink bag and it top loads and I covered most of it because the pink was a little too bright but it does have um, but I left a little at the bottom so you'll be able to put tuck something in here Oops. here is the other envelope really love how this turned out so this one has a little tuck spot here in the front um, that I use as a Tracy piece and there's the final journal with a little tuck spot on the back and then I put my little uh, library pouch here with a um, Tracy Fox uh, whoops, a little Tracy Fox uh, ephemera piece and you can tuck something there. So I'm just going to show you how I would put lace on a few of these items. Um, I wanted to show you this one uh, because I had folded this over I knew I wanted to put a piece of lace and I have a lace in mind that I have Oops, some pieces left over I think um, I wanted to put a piece of lace that just kind of mirrored that look let me just grab some scissors I hope my head wasn't in frame there so um, how am I going to do this? I am just going to cut like this. And this is a piece I've used in a number of these sorts of journals, this piece of lace. And I'm just going to stick that right there. And I'm okay with those bits hanging off the top, but I just thought that would look really lovely up in this area. So I'm just going to put a a skiff of glue, not too thick, and just bring that to the top so that it's lined up with the top. So that's the top of the bag there. Actually, I want to put these this buttons here. I just think they would look really cute there. So I'm just going to stick that there not trying to be too perfect with it and I like the idea of maybe having I don't want to do the very same thing but having kind of a tail off that um, what do I have here I have a bit of lace hanging off the bottom but I think that looks too regimented at currently 
So, you can see I just kind of decide as I go. Might be kind of neat. You know what? I'm going to wait and see because um, it doesn't have to have something coming off the bottom. Um, so I, I knew I just wanted to put that piece there. So that's why I did that one like so. Um, but let's go back to the front. It's never fast when you do this. So that's one thing you have to think about is that it is a, a process when it comes to turning the pages. So you can see on the side, everything is very similar in length. And so I like the idea of having a bit of lace coming off the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit down to about here, which is where I, as far as I want to go. And I'm just going to attach that lace like so. And it's going to come off, be hanging off the side. And I'm just going to cut it there. So it doesn't have to go down the entire length. So we've got a piece there. Um, do I want to put something on here? Just a second. One, two. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I like the idea of putting a little piece of lace here to just um, cover up some of that uh, bit that's hanging out. Here we go. I'm going to use this piece here. Just going to use a little piece of lace like that. Um, there is no rule on how you do this. Whatever feels right to you is, I say, go for it. I'm going to take that back a bit so that it's not encroaching too much here. So we'll, sorry you can hear my fridge in the background there. Um, I tend not to put anything on the spine of the journals. And what else do we want to use? We could have a piece of this or I'm going to use this three times and I'm going to just use it once in each signature. I'm calling those sections signatures now. Uh, oh, I think I have some gathered... Yeah, I have some gathered um, fabric. And this is fabric I got from Denise. Thank you, Denise. And I think I want to put it like midway and have it come off a little bit. Do I want it on this side or this side? Yeah, I want it on this side. So I'm just going to put it midway here because uh, I don't want it to get in the way of this pretty image. But I do want it hanging off the edge a little bit like that. Okay, so that's another piece. Um, this would be a good one to have something on. Since I've got these three pieces of lace, I'm going to put this down at the bottom here and just attach it like so. Like I'd like to choose spots that are varying in terms of where you see lace. See, these are um, staggered in terms of where they are. I try not to be too precise or regular about that, but it is good to keep in mind. I'm just going to bring this over to see if I've got something else I definitely want to use from this little lace bin. Ooh, you know what? That would be fun to put on the bottom of that piece we were talking about having something a little extra on. There's a little bit of sorry. And here's some sorry here, a little piece of lace. And I do want to play with this piece. Whoops, and that piece. Okay, so we've got that. Um, 
It might be kind of fun to put something right here on the um, on the bag. You could just put this. You can tell there's no. Hmm, I don't want to cover that image. Maybe I'll put it. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll put it there. I'm okay with putting a little bit up here. And making sure that I've got a bit hanging over the edge. That's kind of what I'm going for in terms of um, a look. Yeah, this is the one I thought maybe this would be fun. I think I got this from my friend Allie. Hi, Allie. That would be kind of fun down here, don't you think? I'm just going to cut this here. And because I want three or four of those, and then I'm just going to cut this here. And hope I've got it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some fabri -Tac down. And I would use fabri -Tac for this because it just is so good at attaching anything that's a fabric or fabric-like. Okay. And then I'll come back and trim what's hanging over the edge later. Just make sure we've got that glued down and put a little extra glue, just a little dollop there. Um, I just think that's kind of cute, hanging off the bottom. And I just wanted to give that a little more height. So where are we on our... We definitely need to put something on this one. So what we could do, I think would be kind of fun, is if we put another one of these pieces um, on the edge of this um, on the edge of this envelope so whoops this is super organic guys so I'm just gonna leave that do it like that this is turning a corner so I'm gonna get rid of this bit so that I can just put this in. I'm going to put it towards the bottom because there are more, right now I feel like more of my pieces are skewed towards the top. So let's put this towards the bottom and have it hang out a bit. Have those little jagged edges of lace which I think is great. Now I'll go back later on and uh, if there are bits that are hanging way out way too far then I'll go back and I'll trim them that kind of thing so we've got that we've got this I think we need to put a bit of this on here so let's look at the side Put it towards the middle. I was just assessing where all of the fluff is that's coming off the sides of this and um, quite a bit of it was coming or it just looked to me like it could use something uh, I guess towards the middle the top to middle area. So we've got that so, let's just close it and see what we think about where we have. And this is just the lace for the sides. And then in terms of where you might want to put lace on a piece, you know, we did that strategically there. Um, that can be determined as you go. So, we've got coming out here. I think we need something else down around here. So let's do something in this first signature and I think I will put it on the on the um, this part and 
let's use let's use some of this. Okay, I'm going to cut this like so, and I'm going to and so that's going to come out a fair amount, but I think that's going to be pretty. So I'm just going to and this one I'm going to try and keep very light with the glue. There's a lot of glue there, but I want to keep it so that it's not thick. And that's going to just improve the look of everything in terms of having extra fluff over the side. Let's just have a quick look and see if we're happy with that. There, I'm happy with that. I think that looks good. Okay, there's that lace. I don't think we need to put anything else on this guy. Um, you could do, I'm, I'm liking the idea of playing with this washi tape. Uh, and I'm going to add a little bit of washi here and there. Uh, so, making sure we're good for time. Hoping like heck that I can get that off. So I'm just going to put a little bit of of um, glue on the back and I love the idea of just sticking a piece of washi just right here. Just gives it a little bit more grunge sort of feel and I do want to put a card, now the card's not going to fit there but we could put one here. So this is one of my little cards that uh, actually they're not my cards. They're I made these um, using uh, Tracy's digis, and I just wanted to put it on some cardstock to give it a little more heft. So just going to go like so. I'm just going to stick that there, just for another little bit of interest, and. Let's use, I've got, these are Victoria Designs. Let's use this one. It's already been inked. And we could set that on here. I think that would be nice. Just put some glue on the back. And set that right there. Oops. on that. Nice. And if you wanted you could add a little another little piece of washi. Um, here I think would be kind of nice. So this is really how I play at, at my decorating. I'll put that there. It look like that's what's holding it on. I like that, and that's a tuck spot. Love this lace and how that's looking. So there's that. And then, you know, it's a matter of, you know, do I want another? I think we want another. Um, oh, we could put a bird here. That would be good. Another one of my tea, Tracy's tea cards. So I'm just going to do this and add glue to the back. And I like the idea of putting this up here. I think that's straight. It's hard to tell at this angle. Let me just double check. Yep. What I'll do too is I'll go through with some of my quotes that I have, that I keep, um, and I'll put the quotes on um, on some of these um, some of these pieces, like towards the top or, or wherever. Um, and those are just quotes that I've collected over the year or so that I've got typed up and put in Word. That'll look nice there. And um, and then from there, 
I uh, print them on my, I have a laser jet downstairs that's, that's just a black and white laser jet. And so I print those on the black and white laser jet because then I can coffee stain them afterwards. That's the nice thing about a laser jet uh, is that it gives you that opportunity to be able to do that. Now this looks like a great spot for a um, like a little piece of piece of washi. I'm just going to do this one and then I'm going to look at adding how I might add some um, charms and that kind of thing just to give you an idea. You've probably got it all figured out by now anyway. But I want to put this up here like so. And I like the idea of maybe having that over top. And for what I'm doing, you really don't need to have it, have these on a um, piece of cardstock, but it just seems to work. I'm going to set that there. those. Actually, I'd like to put a piece of this just down here. This is wonderful coffee stain. Sorry. Just going to put a little bit more glue up here. leave that for now. Anyway, I'm going to go back a bit and show you how I would add a um, interest with uh, pins and that sort of thing. So I think what I would do is I'm going to take a little piece of this and now I'm going to put, take this little piece on the inside like that. And I've got a Tim Holtz pin here somewhere. I think I do. Just one sec. Ah, there we go. So this is a pin that says stuff appropriately. And I'm just going to Put it through here and then I'm going to actually I'm going to add one of these tea cards and then I'm going to attach this on top keeping in mind that I don't want to um, have this too close to here because I want it to um, I don't want to impede where I'm going to put the hole for my uh, for my uh, doorknob <laughs> Seems like a weird thing to say, doesn't it? A hole for your doorknob. Okay, so we've got that there. We've got this. And I'm just going to make like a V, since that is shaped kind of like a V, and attach that there like so. So that just creates a cute little collage there. Um, and it's a great way to add a pin. Um, I also like to add pins on um, like things like I've got this little teacup charm and that one I would put on a bulb pin and I might not add it right there because we have something on that first page but I could very easily add it here and have it so that um, it's going to hang off the book like that. Uh, so I'll just make sure that everything's attached as it should be here, and it is. So that's just going to hang off there. Um, so that's really how I go about doing it. It's 
there's no real science to it. Uh, just have fun with what you're doing. This is a good spot for a, for something. And let's see, let's put to number 15. I have some of these nice Tim Holtz terms. And, oops, move this so that I don't dry out my ink. Hopefully you guys can see, okay. And I'm just going to pin this. I'm going to try and pin this. I'm working around my tripod again. Here on the outside. Did I get the only dull pin in the bunch? It's, it's not a good one, that's for sure. And then I'm going to just pin that and pull it down so that it's hanging over a bit. And then I'll go back and make sure that that's glued really nicely. Um, I want to put a little piece of washi there. I don't know why, but it tells me where it wants to go. Okay. I'll put a little glue on that. And I'm just going to put this down here and have it so that it looks like it's coming out from underneath that. Great! So that just gives you guys an idea of how I go about. It's a messy process, as you can tell by looking at everything here. <laughs> Um, but that's how I go about doing that kind of decorating and I always wait until it's in the book where I have things positioned where I want because I find that just gives me a better idea of how things could roll out. This would be nice up here. This butterfly. Yeah, we're going to put that right there. How are we for time? Okay, we've got a few minutes. Just a few so I'm going to put this butterfly up here because it just looked a bit plain to me. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it right over everything because you're not going to be able to see that from behind, from the back. Get rid of my goober. My gloober. I'm just going to set that there. So we still have an opening. Uh, gosh, that's pretty really pretty. So that's how I do it. I just go back and I say, oh, this could use this or this could use that. Um, but I think it's coming along really nicely. So if I could task you with putting your lace on and then next time we are going to finish this, these beauties, and we're going to put do the cover and we're going to do the, um, the Tim Holtz um, I'm going to use uh, the doorknobs, but you could use a, 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 what do you call it, hitch post. But you could also, you know, do it another way and just use uh, um, ribbon or, or sari silk or whatever. But we can talk about that then. So, and then we'll maybe just do a quick look through of, of what we've got done. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope I didn't sound too scattered. Um, what can I say? I have those days where I feel like I sound scattered. Anyway, I hope you're having a super day. I'm so glad that you have joined me for this particular um, tutorial series. It's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.